These are not only tough times for Nigerians in the Northeast. It's been a difficult road for President Goodluck Jonathan too. PDP is still the number one party. First off, recent splits within his ruling PDP threaten political stability and the activities of Islamist sect Boko Haram are threatening security. The group's insurgency so far has put enormous pressure on the regime. With general elections mere months away, Jonathan has had to face countrywide protest over the kidnapping of hundreds of schoolgirls. Also, the opposition is pulling no punches. Even without the Boko Haram crisis, the nation ran itself as if on autopilot. The time has come for strategy and action. The time has come, but government has been found solely wanting, just as they have left the girls in the forest and at the mercy of armed terrorists without mercy, this government has left its nation in the cold. But President Jonathan and his party aren't taking the criticism lying down. If you go to the Bring Back the Girl campaign, 90% of those organizing it belong to a political party. Has the media ever analyzed it? 90% of those organizing it belong to a particular political party. And yet, the insurgency is operating only in states controlled by that party. Some analysts, though, say the information minister is missing the point. There is no logic in that argument. There is no base. It, it, it's, it's devoid of any reason whatsoever. If you feel that the opposition government in all those states are the one behind the Boko Haram insurgency, and you have your evidence, you are the man that is in charge of government at the center, and the president is the commander in chief of the armed forces, get them arrested and get them prosecuted. Many Nigerians would say now is not the time for political wrangling. Instead, many are calling for a united front against the threat of Boko Haram. But don't expect the opposition to back down on the issue of security. It's currently the strongest point it has against the president and the ruling party. There are clearly several issues to deal with in Nigeria ahead of elections. They include ethnic and religious divisions. But one thing is clear though, security will most likely be the key one. Deji Badmo, CCTV, Lagos, Nigeria.